My name is Amos Samuel. I was born in the Middle East. I lived in India for a bit and came to the United States when I was about 10 years old. I've lived in Indiana and Oklahoma, most recently in Lancaster, California, where I am right now. I work over at Armstrong Flight Research Center in Edwards, California, and I work there as the lead electronics engineer for the simulation hardware group. Although the simulation group mainly focuses on a variety of different projects as the researchers need simulation capabilities, one of my major tasks right now is to build the hardware side for the X-59 low boom flight demonstrator. That's a really neat project. Throughout my time at NASA, I've had the opportunity to work with a variety of different interns, and I've enjoyed every experience, and every experience is a little bit different. Uh, each time, each intern is different, what their abilities are different, and even the projects, the projects that they've been working on, that they will be working on, is new and different in their own way. So each one has its own challenges and it's exciting in its own way. Sometimes I'm able to help with the technical side of things where I can help these students learn something or see something in a new way that they have not seen it before or help them to expand their technical knowledge base. I remember coming as an intern. Uh, I remember the biggest thing that I took away from an internship was learning the practicality of the work that I'm doing and how it applies to the theory of the classes that I was taking. And that was such an invaluable experience that I try to convey that to my students as well, that they can learn tangibly what they're, what they're learning theoretically in class and be able to uh, just get a deeper understanding of what they're learning so they can actually contribute meaningfully to the work that they will be doing in the future, whatever that might be. So. In dealing with my interns, I like to you know, expand their technical skill, but also uh, see how we can develop their uh, leadership skills as well. So as an intern, as interns who come work for me, I try to give them a fair bit of responsibility and let them take ownership of a project so that it is theirs and they will be making the connection to other people and talking to other people and presenting to other people so they get more than just the technical skills, but really what does it look like to work in a team and more than just in a team, work at a center that works at an agency, uh, which is NASA. And uh, also I enjoy having interns and just just helping them with whatever that they're going through um, in their school or life to provide the wisdom that I've gained from my experience working at NASA, just to help someone come along and build that confidence and have that ability to do uh, meaningful work for NASA. I remember coming in and being uh, as an intern coming in and being overwhelmed by how much I don't know and then over time realizing that there's nothing magical or special about the folks who work here at NASA. They are just people and they have great skills that they've developed through experience. And I want to uh, to impart that onto the interns so they know that anybody can work for NASA and you can develop your skills and really learn some uh, neat new uh, things. So if you're watching this and you are have never considered maybe an internship for NASA, I highly encourage you to do it. I have had a variety of students work for me from masters of fine arts students to math majors to engineering majors. There is such a, a, a great uh, breadth of people who work at NASA that regardless of your major, you should really consider what it looks like to take on an internship working for NASA. Don't be scared. Don't think that it is way beyond your league or it's beyond your capabilities. The part of an internship is that you develop your skills, you learn about NASA, and you can become uh, better at what you are learning in school. So please, I encourage you, get an internship at NASA. Don't feel like you can't do it because you, whoever you are watching it right now, you absolutely can't.